While Black Friday deals are in the past, the savings don't stop there. Cyber Monday only hours away, and experts say shoppers should use caution when shopping for those holiday doorbusters. News 10's Mars Anderson joins us in the studio and shares what you can do to avoid shopping scams on Cyber Monday. Thanks, Deanna. There has been endless Black Friday deals with many ads and sales starting a week early. Cyber Monday deals will be no different, but with all the holiday savings, there's got to be a catch or maybe even a scam. If it seems too good to be true, it probably is. Whether you're shopping online or in store, getting a great price on an item you want influences your purchase. Jeff Finley purchased a new smart TV with his family and says had it not been for the good price, he wouldn't have bought it. That's why I did it. Otherwise, I would have never done it if it wasn't such a good price. And while some hot ticket items may be priced to your budget, the Better Business Bureau says scammers are aware you're looking for a deal and are doing what it takes to get your money. Jamie Klein says she's dealt with fraud while shopping online, but because it's convenient, she still does it. The ease of being able to shop online, that's, that's pretty nice just sitting at home and doing that. Katie Grievous of the Better Business Bureau says even though online shopping is quick and easy, customers should remain cautious, checking website addresses and sales emails for typos. Look at what comes right before that dot com. If it is not the store name you were looking for, it has extra words, extra letters, extra numbers, it is a scam. Go to a different website. A simple Google search will help you find not only a good deal, but information on if a site is real, helping you avoid fake merchandise or worse, fraud. If you've never heard of them and you can't find a lot of information on their website about where they're located or how to contact them, and you can't find good positive information on them when you do a Google search or you look on BBB.org, that's a red flag. However, even if you did all you could and still got scammed, using a credit card could help. A lot of credit card companies offer additional protection when it comes to fraud. They're more likely to be able to get your money back, fight for you in the background if an extra charge was posted. While scams are likely, the Better Business Bureau also recommends reading the fine print on your receipt for any holiday returns you might want to make, understanding your deadline on when you can return items and what kind of reimbursement you could receive. Deanna? Thanks, Mars. The Federal Trade Commission reports that over $52 million was scammed from Americans who shopped online between January and June of 2023.